Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be building another bunker in Sprocket. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? Alright, so starting out, let's go to mobility and essentially get rid of all of this, get rid of all of this, and get rid of that, get rid of that, and all of these guys are all going to be like zero. Because we don't need them, so hopefully we can uh, get rid of all of those, get rid of that guy, get rid of that guy, uh, and essentially we're deleting all of these so that we don't weigh as much. There you go. Bosh, can this spawn in? Oh, we need one road wheel. I don't even know where these guys are. What is going on here? I don't know, but anyway, uh, we need a road wheel, so let's go ahead and get one. There we go. If we go up to config, we can make the scale tiny, we can make the wrist, wrist angle. The wrist angle, very small too, and now it'll work. Fantastic. Okie dokie, so what I'm going to do is build a rounded bunker on the front, and uh, the back of it will be sort of open. Now I'm going to make this slightly different to the ones we've done before because it's actually just going to have some sort of like a normal turret in the middle that will hopefully do a very good job. Anyway, let me round this off and I'll be back with you guys very soon. Alright, there we go. I've rounded it off a little bit. It is still a little bit jaggedy, but yeah, I don't know if it was going to be made of concrete. I guess that makes sense anyway. So let's go to each of these. There we go, including these side pieces. Uh, I don't know whether to go in one more than that. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Let's just go and extend... Uh, this bit up. Oh, I did manage to just not select all of that. There we go. Extend this. There we go. Up into the sky. Very nice. Uh, and then obviously we're going to have to have a roof. So let's extend this down slightly. Extend this upwards. We then need to grab each of these. Almost. We almost grabbed all of them. There we go. Extend those. These guys are going to come together. Although actually, the better way of doing it would be like this. Oh, oh. It's a bit of a struggle, but we will get there. We will... Oh! It's so close! So very close! Okay, if I just grab this guy and do this, then it'll join together. Very nice! So that is the inside of our bunker, or I guess the outside of the bunker. Let's go and extend this guy upwards, and slowly but surely, we will... Oh, what's going on there? Why is that? Why has it done this? What is going on? I don't know what this little bit is. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, there we go, nice. <laughs> don't ask me what that noise was. I don't know what that noise was. But anyway, let's extend all of these guys upwards like so, very nice. And we're gonna round off the top of the bunker. There we go. All right, let's do it again. Round it even more, and round it even more. And there we go, that is our bunker pretty much complete. Let's go ahead and round it off a little bit. There we go. And that looks sick. Don't know what's going on here though, so let's just try and sort this out really quickly. Grab that one and that one, and if I send them both backwards... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe that's not how we fix this. How do I fix this? What is even going on? Guys, what's happening here? No! I don't know what's going on. We're just going to ignore it, and hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, so I was just thinking, maybe this piece is actually not the best to have, so we're going to go ahead and grab the edges, and actually send those inwards, which, um, I don't know, might be a little bit strange. Actually, that's not quite going to work, is it? Ooh, how do I go about making that work? Can I do this? No, that's not going to work either. Um, I mean, I could try and grab that guy and this guy, extend both, and then send it backwards like this. But that doesn't really work either. I've built it wrong, and I'm upset about it. <laughs> I built it wrong, and I'm very upset about it. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab this guy and extend this forwards like so. Very good. And then we need a turret to go inside of there. So how are we going to do that? I don't even know, but let's go to the back end and try and make it a little bit of a fortification wall type dealio. Let's go ahead and send this guy backwards like this. And then the guy at the top, which is this piece and this piece, are going to go forwards. Kind of like so. And then... I would actually like to send this guy forwards as well, so let's do that. There we go, and it'll give us like a nice looking rear of our bunker. That actually looks sick, yes. All right, so now we need some massive cannons on a turret in there. All right, guys, I've smoothed it off. We have ourselves a very smooth turret. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, try and pick up all of these pieces. There we go. And then, I don't know whether to extend it like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know whether to actually extend it all the way up to the top, which, I don't know, is that weird? That might be very weird. But what I want to do is select all of it, and then maybe I could actually do something like this. 
And something like this? Oh, I guess, no, we're gonna do that. Okay, cool, and then we're gonna move all of it backwards into there. And then we're gonna add a gun to that. Yeah, it's kinda weird, but I think it'll work out. All right, cool, so let's go to points. I don't know, yeah, sure, points. Grab this guy, okay, and this guy, okie dokie. That right? Yeah, I think that's right. And do this. Hey, there we go. That actually looks amazing. That looks way better than I expected it would. Cool. All right, I also want to actually go to this guy, and I'm going to extend both of these forwards. So grab that one there, and also there, and send it. There we go. I'm also just going to go ahead and... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know really what's going on there. Can I undo that, actually? I'm going to go to faces. Grab these two. I'm going to extend them, bring them forwards like this, and shrink them just a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. So, if I can, let's go to this guy, bring it outwards just a little bit, and then we need to add a uh, gun into there, and then we've got a sick little base basement? <laughs> that is not a basement. A sick little bunker. Alright guys, I'm thinking we need a massive gun, so we are going to go ahead and get a 400mm gun. There we go, and that is actually extremely long. That is way too long. <laughs> that is way, way, way too long, but maybe something like this. Or maybe even that's too long. Let's go with like three and three, which only makes it six, but yeah. That seems like a good size. Then let's go ahead and add one of the- no. No, maybe we shouldn't have one of those. Maybe we don't need one of those. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Uh, and then we need to actually add rounds into this so that it will actually fire. So, ammo storage, yes. Let's go ahead and get some rounds. Let's put them on both sides. It says it's outside, but if we push it forwards and we lower it down... This bunker actually makes these look tiny. Uh, right, okay, let's do APHE, good. And then we're going to extend it so it's really tall. And what I'm going to do is actually add extra reloaders, and this thing is going to fire so quickly. It's going to be so good. Okay, viewports, gunner's sight. Add it right there in the center. Can we see? Yes. Okay, this is going to be great. Okay, guys, I'm going to add some uh, decorations to this as well. So here is the back end so far. We have a door. We have some stowages. We have some logs. I think that looks pretty sick, to be honest. Uh, from here, we are going to add a bunch more stuff as well. Uh, because we can, so let's go ahead and add some weird little bench things. So we're going to attach these guys to here, extend them outwards, and make them a little bit longer too, I guess. I'm also going to do this. I think that looks nice. We're going to bring this guy backwards to a car, and that actually looks pretty sick. I would like to attach some of these guys to the roof as well, so I'm going to do something like that. There we go. And then something like this as well. But obviously push it down so it's the same height as the other ones. There we go. It looks weird, but I'm going to go with it. Also, I'm going to attach these guys onto here. Sleeping bags. I guess we can attach some of those up there as well. There's two of those. And from there, we're actually going to go to structural. Going to grab these guys, going to make them really big, and we're going to have a ladder up the backside. That's... that sounded weird. <laughs> that sounded really weird. But yeah, we're going to have a ladder going up the back. So let's go ahead and do this really quickly. There we go. Put that guy right there. The best way to actually do ladders in the right sort of, like, distance apart is to add rivets, and then you can choose which one you want to put them on. So I'm going to miss two, and just keep building it upwards, and then it is actually spaced out very, very nicely. Okay, and then if you want to keep it going, just do this. There we go, and keep putting them on there. So there's one, two, put that there. One, two, I'd like to put another one in, but actually, let's just leave it. Okay, cool. So, get rid of that one, get rid of this one, and there we go! What do we think of this? I think that's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna do something that we did pretty much on the last one as well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and add these guys as if they are sort of like sandbags. So let's go ahead and just shove these on around the outside. We'll do, like, actually loads of them. And hopefully this will look good. I, I think it will. It looked good last time, so we're just gonna shove them all on, and then afterwards we'll move them down. Uh, so they're not like sticking up too much, which at the minute they pretty much are. They're sticking up way too much. There we go. Bring them across the front as well. Fantastic. And now select all of them. Here we go. Slowly but surely we'll get there. 
There we go, drop them down and there we go! Nice! We've got like some little sandbags going on. I'm also gonna raise them up a little bit too, because I can. And... There we go. Oh, this looks sick! Yeah! There it is in the sun. Maybe we should be building it in the sun, actually. Yep, there we go. Let's build these up actually really far up this side. We'll bring them down over here. And there we go. That honestly looks really good. I think I like it. Yeah! Cool. Alright guys, so uh, what we're gonna do from here might seem very, actually, kind of ridiculous. Uh, and it is. We're gonna go to this, we're gonna make it maximum, uh, in terms of the actual armor. We're then gonna select all of this, and again, we're gonna make it maximum armor thickness there, and maximum armor thickness here. That means it weighs 378 tons. That's, um, that's quite a lot, actually. That's, that's very heavy. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is replace the loader with a bunch of loaders so it fires a little bit quicker than a thousand seconds. That doesn't make any sense. It fires quicker than once every thousand seconds. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, let's do it. Alright, so I've given it a bunch of loaders. Let's see what happens now. So, three, two, one, fire! Oh, the logs fall off. All right, we're gonna get rid of the logs then if that's what's gonna happen uh, Because I don't really want them falling off literally every single time I do it Also side note, let's go ahead and pretend that these guys are sandbags again and put them above the door Yes, there we go something like this into the sides very nice. Let's grab the tables So it doesn't look like they're just I don't know not sat on anything. There we go. That looks sick. Very nice. Alright, let's save it again. I've called it the 400mm anti-ship bunker, and um, we're ready to do some anti-ship stuff. Let's do it. I see a ship on the horizon! It is the German rat! Let's see if we can kill it. Three. Oh. I was gonna say three, two, one, and then fire, but no, that guy just fired and absolutely annihilated it. Okay, right, anti-ships, um, anti-ship cannon does indeed work. So, um, good. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a bit weird. So we've actually started on the defense on the railway map And we are against some king tigers. We're also against some normal tigers as well um, And they did actually manage to get through my armor. That is insane Because we are using a maximum armor, but never mind right uh, This map actually feels really bad for this because I can't see anything Yeah, this is a bit of an issue Alright guys, we are on the fields map. Are we in the defense or are we on the attack? Oh, I don't think I changed it to attack. Alright, we need to change this around. Uh, so we need to go to custom battle. Yes! Attackers! Uh, yes, there we go. We're now the defenders. There are four of us. Let's make it five just because we can. And hopefully that'll be nice. Go! Okay, right. Two of my guys have actually opened fire already. And now the enemy are firing back. Oh, they're fired in! I don't think they're aiming high enough. Oh, no. They're not aiming high enough. Oh! Oh, I, I aimed nowhere near high enough. Oh, my. Look at the explosions. They're insane. All right, fire another one. Fire! All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, my. I don't know whether we've got the range. I don't think we've got the range for this. All right, fire! There we go. That's going to hit. Oh, it was like where that guy just was. Oh, come on. Come on, fire! Here we go, this is a bang on target. It's not, it's very close though. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh! Oh, so close! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that the armor on this thing isn't actually as effective as I thought it was. So let's go ahead and quit to the menu. We'll go into the sandbox, and what we can do is make this late war. Select all. Here we go, in terms of the faces. There we go. We now weigh almost 500 tons. That's quite a lot. That's, that is quite a lot. Now we weigh over 500 tons. Okay, let's save this as 400 millimeter. 400 millimeter. Anti... Anti-ship. Cannon. Bunker. Bunker! There we go. Right. Save that as is. Okay, good. Uh, so now that we've done that, I think we'll be better off. 
Okay, here we go again! Let's see what happens now. I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't see the enemies. They've already destroyed one of my bunkers. Oh, this sucks. So, the problem that we've got is that essentially the entire bunker, even though it is rounded, um, is, is very flat. And a flat face doesn't actually have very much effective armor. So, um, that's our main issue here. But, I don't know. I still feel like it's formidable. So, let's see what happens. Oh, never mind. That guy just died. I'm just going to go ahead and randomly fire into the abyss. And see if we hit someone. I didn't see anyone. But let's do it again. Hold on one second. Three, two, one, fire! Okay, yeah. I'm just shooting at nothing. Hoping that an enemy just appears. But that will not happen. Um, unless it does. Unless it does. I think I spotted an enemy somewhere. There it is. Fire! Hey, we got one. Our anti-ship cannon did its job. Remember, if this thing was shot by an anti-ship cannon, um, it, it would also die. So, yeah. Bunker versus a bunker. The bunker dies every time. Yes. Okay, I don't see any more enemies, but I know there's some there. I know there's some there. Where are they? I wish I could make it out of actual, like, concrete, but obviously that's not a thing in this game. I just got killed. That's not good. Turn the cannon! Quicker! Oh, the cannon turns so slowly, doesn't it? Yikes. All right, there's an enemy right there. I do just about see it. I aimed way too high, and now it is going to shoot me and kill me. Apparently, there's only one enemy left. Wait, what? How is there only one enemy left? Oh, no, that's me. There's six of them. I'm the enemy. Yeah, see, it shot me. Where did it shoot me? I feel like straight in the face, and then... I died. Yikes. Alright, so I think we're gonna say the only vehicle this thing should be up against is an actual ship. Uh, which, you know, is is coming towards me right now. So let's go ahead and destroy it. Three, two, one, fire! I missed. Uh-oh. <laughs> How did I miss? It's huge. I don't know what the reload time is on that thing, but I'm assuming quite high. Let's go and fire again. Okay, it landed directly underneath it. I, I actually missed again. For a second time. Fire again. Three, two, one, go. Right on the money. Nice. Um, okay, cool. So, I think what I'm going to say about this is... I built something that is... It weighs too much. Obviously, we've added way too much armor to this. Um, and the armor isn't very effective because it's very flat. What I would say is that maybe if we give it less armor and we angled it slightly and we give it a little gun, we could have more of them versus less enemies and uh, that would work out way more effective. But um, I don't know, I just thought this was a fun little creation and it was. I think it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, didn't really work as well as I would hoping was hoping. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.